back again with the 011 Air Mini. This time with, you know, some purple and some gold and, you know, the black case and, you know, a lot of air cooling, more air cooling. Most of all, the Diablo theme. Welcome to Simple Rudd. This episode is just a quick focus on the custom build for my third customer now, so slowly racking them up. They wanted a Diablo Treasure Goblin, mostly the gold and purple as you can see, and went with the Lee and Lee 011 Air Mini, mainly because it was here, but secondly because it is an amazing case. It was great to build in, looks great, has a great finish. So I didn't do a whole lot with custom paint since it's shipping. I did, however, paint the 3070, mainly because EVGA likes to throw red on there. And for anyone not doing a red theme, well, it sucks. So pop that bad boy out of there and gave it a little paint to add some gold. So it's kind of hard to see when everything's all lit up, but there is some gold in the case that looks amazing when the lights are off on the inside, you know, with the no RGB. But it kind of gives good reflection for all the purple when the lights are on. So something as simple as just cutting out the circles that cover up your labels on the fans makes a huge difference. Now I went with the gold metallic, the same you see here on the DE and the Diablo on the top, and it really looks great. It gives it, it gives it a finish, right? It looks complete. You know, when you see all those labels on the back and they're, I don't know, it just, feels kind of tacky or unfinished. So really when I put that on, that's what felt like it pulled the whole build together. Um, this is a 5600X paired with a 3070 EVGAs, which is amazing. I did put Noctua's NHD 15 because damn, and damn, right? Looks amazing, cools amazing, and you're never gonna have issues, right? So with this thing shipping, it'll be a little bit easier to keep that safe through shipping than say a custom loop or anything like that. Not to mention, you know, you really don't see the failures. AOIs don't fail that often, but when they do, it can be somewhat catastrophic. With something like the air cooler, the fan's either working or the fan's not working. It's pretty easy to tell. And this thing keeps the temps nice and cool because, I mean, you've got 140s everywhere. I did leave the back open, as you can kind of see through the Treasure Goblin. That kind of helps give the case more of an open look, really, rather than kind of closed off and cramped. And really, this case is, it's a thick boy. You know, there's a lot of room for activities in here. So the 140s were great. Now, you could pull out the top and bottoms and put six 120s, which would have been cool as well, but I really like the Fantex 140s. They're a good price, they're good cooling, and they look great. And they're easy to get in the triple bundles. They daisy chain really easy for the fan and for the RGB. So it really makes your building simple as well. Now let's do a quick cut to get the B-roll, right? Probably be a rather short one. And then I'll get back to you to wrap this video up. So it's nice when I can keep a video a little bit shorter. You know, you already seen what it was like to build in this in my previous video. And Lee and Lee's doing a great job of making cases that look great and are easy to build in. Now, easy to build in is nice when you're building for customers and you're doing a lot of builds. You know, when I did my build, I had the Fantex Shift X and that thing was not easy to build in. But at the same time, it's not something I'm going to rebuild in, right? I put a lot of work into that initial build and it was done. I'm not changing it. The next thing I'm gonna do is tear it apart and probably, you know, shelf the nice case. To whereas this is something that, you know, if you want to keep upgrading your hardware, you can keep this case around forever. It'll be easy to build in. It'll be easy to swap stuff out of because you just have so much room. The only thing that kind of made it difficult was just the massive knock to a cooler. 
but really wasn't that difficult. It was still, uh, you know, an overall straightforward build. And the room for cable management is phenomenal. More case manufacturers need to focus on that. Because not only do you have a ton of room in these cases for it, they do a great job of hiding it all, right? So if it doesn't look that pretty in the back, it doesn't really matter because you can just hide it. Right? You don't have to look at it all the time. It's only going to be a nightmare when you've got to go swap some hardware out. Now, don't forget to subscribe. Comment down below. You know, hit like if you liked the video. I'm going to keep rolling out content. I'm going to try and focus on keep bringing, you know, case reviews and building in cases. Those seems to be the videos that they bring in the views. And I'm just looking at what you guys want to see. So, you know, let me know down below what kind of content you want to see. And I'll do my best to bring it to you. Thank you.